everybody, my name is Tanya and today I want to talk about a new project that I've set myself. So I've alluded a couple of times in videos lately to a new project that I've set myself and that is that my brain has decided it'll be a good idea to read the books from the 2016 Stellar Prize long list. The Stellar Prize is a major literary prize here in Australia and it's a fairly new one. The first prize was awarded in 2013 and it's a prize that celebrates Australian women's literature. So the Stellar Prize was established after discussions on the underrepresentation of women writers in Australian media. So a discussion that you know 70% of reviews in certain newspapers were by for male authors or that other literary prizes were being won predominantly by men. And so the Stella Prize was established to um, celebrate Australian women's fiction and, and would pick out each year a book either of fiction or non-fiction by an Australian female writer um, and to celebrate and promote and um, gain awareness for Australian authors. Another major literary prize here in Australia is the Miles Franklin and uh, at the time that the Stella Prize was being discussed only 10 uh, individual female writers had won that award over its 54 year history. The really ironic thing is after the Stella Prize was you know began to be established the Miles Franklin has been won the last five years by a female author so after this kind of period of dominance by male authors um, we've now had the past five years the the Miles Franklin Award has gone to a woman as well. Both the Miles Franklin and the Stella Prize are named for Miles Franklin who is a famous Australian author and feminist whose first name was actually Stella. The Miles Franklin Award was actually established at the behest of Miles Franklin in her will after her death um, for the establishment of a an award that celebrates Australian life in uh, any of its phases and so that's kind of what the um, the rules behind the Miles Franklin Award are. And now we have the Stella Prize which has been created to champion women's writing in Australia. The Stella Prize has already been awarded for this year so we already know the long list, the short list and the winner. Um, but I am, like I said, my brain's decided I'm interested in reading all of these books apparently. There are 12 books, uh, 6 of which that made up the short list, um, but 12 books in total for the long list. I'm still tossing up whether I'm going to read the full long list or just the short list, but I've got all of the books here, I'm going to show them to you. I don't really know all that much about most of them, so I'm not going to kind of talk about them, but I'll show you what they are, and as I read them I will let you know some more about them then. So starting with the long list of books, we have Panthers and the Museum of Fire by Jen Craig. The Guide to Berlin by Gail Jones, A Short History of Richard Klein by Amanda Lowry, The Other Side of the World by Stephanie Bishop, The Women's Pages by Deborah Adelaide, and Anchor Point by Alice Robinson. And then moving on to the short list of the titles, we have Six Bedrooms by Tegan Bennett Daylight, which I've just read as part of Book Buddyathon, Small Acts of Disappearance, Essays on Hunger by Fiona Wright, which I'm planning on reading for the Mental Health Awareness Readathon this next week, The World Without Us by Mirel Juchao, A Few Days in the Country and Other Stories by Elizabeth Harrower. Hope Farm by Peggy Frew, and then lastly the winner for the 2016 Stella Prize which was The Natural Way of Things by Charlotte Wood. So the vast majority of these I borrowed from the library but just yesterday I picked up Hope Farm and The Natural Way of Things so I'm really excited to own these ones, particularly The Natural Way of Things which was the winner. I'm very much looking forward to this, it sounds uh, completely fascinating. I think I'll try and leave this one to the end just because it is the winner um, and also I don't have to return it to the library so I'm going to take my time with it. So far I've read a book from the shortlist and the next book I'm planning to read is from the shortlist. So like I said, I'm still um, toying with, Tanya, do you really want to try and read 12 books? Really, really brain? But my brain's saying, yeah, let's do it. So I've got them all out from the library. Uh, I'm hoping I can kind of get through them. I'm not sure at the moment whether I will do, um, I don't think I'll do individual review videos, but I might kind of batch them together and talk about some of the books from the prize. Um, let me know if you've got a preference about how you'd like me to do some videos around this. I'm hoping that I can get a little bit more consistent in my video making again. I've been a little bit all over the place. We'll see how it goes. But in either case, that's kind of where my headspace is at the moment when it comes to my reading. I'm also intrigued by the long list for Miles Franklin this year. That one hasn't been awarded yet, but there are some crossovers between the two. So I thought I'll start with this one. But if I enjoy this experience, I might then move on to the Miles Franklin long list as well. So if you've read any of these books, let me know down in the comments what you thought of them. And if you kind of follow any particular literary prizes, let me know. As always, thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.